views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. You are listening to The Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., where I'm going to empower you and teach you how to live your extraordinary life. Tune in every Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, on Transformation Talk Radio, where I combine ministry, science, and spirituality to reveal the steps you need to let go of your perceived limitations. Have you had the limiting self-talk over and over? Have you noticed you allow your fears to hold you back? If you're truly ready for change, I invite you to join me, Tracy L. Clark, and start your journey of transformation now. Welcome to the Tracy L. Clark Show. I'm your host today, Tracy L., and I'm known as a transformational specialist, so we're going to teach you how to go from ordinary to extraordinary. And as the founder of the TLC Community of Extraordinary Living, we find that it's a time now to start to be able to embrace, raise your awareness, but not only get you to learn how to release those blocks in your life, but truly transform them so we can start to really embrace that life that's waiting for you. So we talk about the new ways that you can observe your life. We offer tips each week so you can start applying them to your life and finally become self-empowered. So each episode, we're going to sift and shift the energy and raise your awareness. So I always like to say, I give my definition of extraordinary living is always so we can grow together and go together. But for me, it's also being accountable to myself so I can be accountable to each and every one of you and just be filled with more peace and walking in a limitless world so we can keep creating at the hand of God, that universe as we continue to lead myself so I can help show you and do that for yourself. So I promise each and every episode to be here to help you, support you, inspire you, uplift you, and shift the energy. So thank you for showing up. You know, this is our show this week is all about going from being limited to limitless and rebirthing new ideas. We're in a great time right now of rebirth and new ideas. And one of the things as I was prepping for our show, we got a beautiful testimonial when from our show last week about reprogramming the body and understanding some simple tips that we can start to do to reprogram. I like to share testimonials because they actually help to open and expand your awareness within your own field so you can take them. I always say I take that, I deserve that. So if you're struggling in something or needing that shift by hearing what somebody else has gone through. So I wanted to share that because as we start to reprogram our body, we start to be able to see where did we get limited in our life? Where did we get locked up? And how can we actually start to move that? And I just want to let everybody know that if you do want to call in at the bottom of the hour, we'll take calls. So you can call 1-800-930-2819 and we can start to shift like we did with one of our callers last week, Rob, who actually sent us a testimonial. And I wanted to just read that out so you can start to hear the changes on how fast your body can actually start to move if you're actually getting on board. So as I said, we're, we're moving the energetic frequency in your system, very much like a computer, to get you to where you need to go a lot quicker. And he said, well, let me tell you, it's been a crazy but amazing week. For the first couple of days, I cried a lot, kept breaking down. My body was exhausted, but I kept applying the tools Tracy gave me on the show. It's incredible because now I see the images occasionally, but there's no emotion attached and I feel extremely light like I'm walking on air. I've gone through some massive shifts and life looks better than ever before. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Tracy. Because what happens is we said to him on the show, we'd take about seven to 10 days to start to do the exercise. He got really ready and you could see where he started to release a lot quicker. And this is what each and every one of us are able to do. And quite often what happens is we do lock ourselves up on, not only it's not just limited belief systems, but our actions and our environment. And quite often, if you look back and you look at somebody like Rob's testimonial, he is put in environments that locked himself up from moving forward. So he created multiple limits in his areas of life. And a lot of us will do that. So your relationships get limited and they can't move forward. 
or you don't have that expanded awareness. So it's like living in a little box and you can only turn so far. And then all of a sudden you're trying to break out of that box. You're trying to get to that next level. But every time you turn around, you'll feel like there's a ceiling on the top of your head and you can limit, we can limit our money. We can limit our relationships. We can limit, and we do this from our programming. We can limit, you know, our, our careers. A lot of people you'll see and hear people say, I can't do that because I don't have something. I can't do that because I don't have something. And when, when you start to speak words like that, it actually creates energetic barriers up in your field. Meaning that when you go to try to accomplish something, it becomes extremely difficult. And again, you're limiting. So quite often what will happen is you'll come you'll come so far in life and then you might find yourself more frustrated because you're just like, well, life is kind of boring now because again, these boxes, those come back to all the systems. And what I'm going to make sure we do as well um, after our next break is we're going to make sure that we get you into Limitless and give you an exercise and a tool that we can go back very quickly of how you can break through those barriers because it's, it's no fun. When we say limitless, what quite hap- happens to a lot of people when they say, I want to go to limitless or I want to do, they'll have these grandiose ideas that, okay, I want to, some people, I hear it, they're like, I'm going to walk through walls and I'm going to float in the air. And, you know, it's not, to me, that's not limitless, <laughs> but, you know, maybe the odd person can do that. But it's about each and every one of us, each and every day, breaking through the, the barriers that have been put on us. So that's when you see someone and you're like, wow, how did they come from this environment? And now they're in a, a totally opposite. And that's where you hear a lot of times, well, people are products of their environment and you don't have to be once you start to shift the perception and change the awareness. So one of the things I do say to people, you can look at a situation in your life and you say, all right, I've always been looking at my life this way. So therefore I've been doing it the same way. And if I actually started to daydream a little bit or write, what could I do that would look different? And you'll notice that when you start to change this limited belief system, again, people will do it all the time. I can't get a different job because they don't have enough um, education or which is not true. And, or they'll say, I can't live in that home because I don't have enough money, which again is only your reality at that situation. But those things can change. And when we talk about going from a seen realm, which is what you currently see right now to an unseen realm, is understanding that your vibrational frequency is always creating. So how far you want to push that has nothing to do with your environment as it does have to do with your connection with self and your, how you see yourself, how you perceive yourself, how you open yourself into these other realms. And that can also be very challenging. And people say, oh, it can be very, very easy. I'm just going to go do something different. It's not very easy. It can actually be very challenging because you don't know any different. You don't know any, any better. You know, I use myself as an example, um, in business, we're always having to learn and change. And I would defer a lot of things that would deal with, you know, social media or graphics to other people, yet they would let me down or they wouldn't finish something. And I would be pulling out my hair and I kept saying, well, that's not my area. That's not what I do. So you can see how I was limiting myself. That's not my area. I don't want to do that. I want someone else to take it over because it's a lot to learn. Everything's changing all the time. And then finally it was like, no, you know what? I can do this. And then to be able to have the people show up to be able to show you, hey, you can do this. It's only going to take you a minute, you know, or a second. And you're like, wow, that wasn't very hard. So by doing that and showing up in my own life and saying, I can do that. So I can create those things myself. It's not that hard. There's all the right programs, but just to be shown. So having the courage to say, I don't know how to do this and ask, and I always say, thank you, the hand of God to bring in the people that can show me. And then bang, the right opportunity shows up, the right person's there. And in my case, she was able to show me 
what I had been asking and outsourcing, but was never getting done. So it was always being let down, let down. So I was beating myself up a little bit, but this is what's so beautiful because now it's like, oh, I can do that. It's easy. And all, all the stress went off and all that space of limiting myself. So I had a perception that that wasn't my area. So I didn't need to do that. So you can see how I limited myself. And then, and it's a constant look, okay, I can do that. And then you get to decide once you're empowered. And quite often we limit ourselves because we don't feel empowered in that area or we don't feel we have enough knowledge. And all it is, is asking. And every day I know when I get up, I'm like, thank you, God. You can say universe divine for bringing this person or showing me this. And I'm looking all the time. And it's about creating your awareness and being an observer to see who is in the field that can help you if they're not there and you're asking to make sure the right person's coming in and then taking action and be willing, be willing to really let that in. And I know as I was working through this process, I, a whole bunch of information came up, which made me emotional because I was like, wow, I've been deferring this for so long and feeling like I was being, you know, beating my head against the wall because I just didn't feel empowered there. And I just had to, you know, let that go and go, wow, this is now a new chapter. This is a new place. Now I have this new expansion coming in. And now that comes to a more limitless space within me and allows everything to create and change. And this is what we want to impart and bring and really speak into your field, especially after the break, is where have you been creating yourself smaller because you have been in this limited space? You are saying, you know, I can't do that because I don't have that skill. But I said in one of my partnership programs, which if, if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to do it, tracylclark.com, where it's the community of extraordinary living, it was a private Facebook group, we're constantly uplifting you, motivating you each and every day, live videos from wherever we are, traveling, working. So you're always motivated. And, you know, it's important, and I really want you to think about this, where have you really said, like I just did, I can't do that because I don't have the space. And it's like birthing new ideas. And this is when we come back after the break, we really want you to start to see that you can birth a new self and new ideas. And when this happens, you will find not only your circle of friends that are limiting you will change, you will find you will be making more money, you will find that your creative branches are gonna open into levels that you never expected. So, you know, it it's literally takes you from limited to limitless. So I really, really want you to take a few minutes during the break and just center in you know, where is the first space you can remember? We're going to clean this up for all of you guys today on our show. This is what I do each and every day with people all over the world, just like you. We shift that energy to get you moving in the direction very quickly that you want. So find that place and we'll see you in just a few minutes after the break. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed 
to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. If you're dealing with fear and anxiety, you've probably noticed that the more you fight these emotions, the stronger they seem to get. Dr. Friedemann Schaub, the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution, explains that instead of suppressing, we need to identify and resolve the deeper, subconscious root causes of fear and anxiety. His personal breakthrough program has helped thousands worldwide to overcome their emotional challenges. To learn more, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com and schedule your free consultation with Dr. Schaub now. Choose the new earth on the Cornelia Stephanie show. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. The Cornelia Stephanie Show is your catalyst for anchoring heaven on earth on a global scale. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Welcome back to the Tracy L. Clark Show. I'm your host, Tracy L., and we're teaching you today how to go from limited to limitless. So before we left on the break, I asked you to just take a few minutes and think about what was a time in your life that you found locked you up. So it made you afraid to move forward or just an idea you put in your head that started to really, you notice, created a limited space for you. And even today, it, you know, sometimes people can remember things from when they were quite small. And sometimes it can be something that just happened a week ago that can make your system feel really, really locked up. And what happens is when we start to create those patterns in our body and our systems where then we do limit ourselves and make ourselves small, we start to actually go through the programming within our body and it can come in a lot of various ways. So so things that other people perceive to you or you to them. And that's why I ask you to find that that moment. And if you can just think about it for a minute, I'm just going to call it the energy behind it. So basically where that thought form, where that belief system of where you started to limit yourself and really hold yourself back because we're our own worst enemies. As you all know, we, we hold ourselves back and where that root and seed took place in your system. So I like to say to people, it's like, it is a root. So, cause it's a seed first. So it gets planted in our system somewhere and then the roots grow and however strong the roots grow and take hold that shows, and it can come out through years and years. It can come through your family patterning and DNA and genetic coding. And then all of a sudden what happens is that root is so strong. And if you've ever gardened, you'll notice that if you don't pull the little weeds every day, it gets a lot harder to pull the weeds. They become rooted in there and your garden actually becomes filled with so many weeds you can't see the clean path. Well, our bodies work the same way. So just think about that moment for a minute. And I'm just going to start to, I always say, thank the hand of God. I always want to think where the energy is coming from. You can say universe or divine, but going back into where that root and seed was planted in your field. And we're going to start to pull the accumulation of all the energy. So all the thought processes behind that limiting belief that you had that really held you up in your life. And I'm actually going to start to pull it. And you, when we pull it, people always say, oh, I feel that somewhere in my body. I feel that. So usually you feel it somewhere in your body. If you don't feel anything, don't worry. That's not uncommon too. And we'll start to pull it through. Sometimes it's a thought process and sometimes it's a feeling. And we'll start to lift all of that up and we'll pull that all the way through. 
so we can actually now override the programming with what I would like to say, the expansion of what that belief was. So we start to disconnect the energy behind that root and seed of where that belief came into you, that limiting belief. And we're now going to override it. So it's like rewriting your system. So we get to impart and rewrite into your system the opposite of what was limiting you to take you to limitless. So then you can have the strength to make that new choice. And a lot of times when we do this, what happens is you do start to get a creative idea or you start to see something different. Your awareness starts to, sh to change. Your observations start to change. And then what you get to start to see is when you take that step towards that, it's because your frequencies have changed. So after those frequencies have changed in your body, you start to actually bring in what you're creating. And then you start to move out of your realms. But that's the part when we say we go from limited to limitless and the strength and the courage and we get brave. And, you know, I was, I was chatting with a dear friend of mine in the last couple of days and we were talking about, did we have fears in our businesses? And we didn't. We we're like, no, we don't have fears. We just want to keep going. But understanding where we did have fears and when we had to move through those and a long time ago, but this is where we took off our limiting beliefs about, you know, moving forward. So for us, it was around business. For you, it might be your career. It might be your education. It might be your friends. But we started to take those and lift those off. So now when we move forward, we get to just create. And people quite often think that when they've moved into the limitless realm, that then everything is rosy. But that's that interim period that can be a little bit shaky and it can be a little bit heavy because now your old belief systems change. So it's no different than if your whole life you were told that circle, it, it, that object that maybe looked square, you were told it was a circle. And so you just believed it was a circle and, and that was it. And then all of a sudden one day you realize, wait a minute, that information was wrong. I always say it's like when someone tells you, something's good for you. And then next day you hear it's bad for you. And the next day you hear it's good for you. And so our, our systems get confused and quite often we will limit ourselves because our systems become very, very confused of what's happening and what's transitioning. And so when we can actually open your system and start to speak in to this new limitless space, and you can take, you'll see a lot of change will happen very quickly. But again, this is that place where now you have to start to move into birthing the new ideas. And when we start to go into birthing new ideas, this is an incredible time of year right now to bring that up as we're getting ready for summer to sort of, we're in the halfway through the summer point and getting into the fall. And so this is why it's such a powerful time to always take, you know, check of where you're really holding yourself back and why. Why are you holding yourself back? What, again, what is it? And quite often, I know when I go to rebirth ideas, I need to go away. And sometimes that can help you remove through and move out of the limited space. So finances is a big one I find with people in limitations because there's so much programming that they say, you know, I can't create money. Um, this is all I can make. Or, you know, your last name represents, you know, this. So you're never going to have any more money. Like you hear how people talk. And one of the things I want to open up for each and every one of you listening today is listen to what people are saying around you. So we're taught to connect. You're taught to meditate. You're taught to just, you know, be happy. And, you know, you're taught sometimes to ignore all your emotions, which you should never do. They're all there for a reason. They're perfect. You're supposed to use them all. But listen to what is, what is being spoken around you and what was spoken even a week ago, or especially with people in your field. Um, it's quite, it's, it's interesting because you'll also notice and where other people will not only start to limit you with their projections and belief systems, but you'll also start to notice how naturally your body will pick up on information. So even you can walk by a, you can walk by a billboard 
and that information gets taken into your body. You can walk by, you know, people, we are just walking by people outside and you can pick up the information of what they're discussing if it resonates with you. And then again, it'll hold you back. And so often we're not even aware. It's just a conversation with somebody. It's just, oh, well, they said so-and-so said this about money or this. And, but there's somewhere within you that if you resonate with you with it, you know, all of a sudden, like, yeah, I resonate with that. If it's not supporting you, then it's not unlocking the limited belief. So quite often, we won't even realize there's so many patterns that we'll carry. And so people say, does it have to be, you know, a lot of work? Do I have to, you know, really constantly be looking? It shouldn't be work. It should be part of your just, you don't need to be searching and seeking. It's about just observing in your day and acknowledging what has been holding you back, what is limiting you. And a lot of times it's fear and change. And we know better. We're like in our head. We're like, no, I know better. I've heard that before. I should do that. But you never take that action. And then you start to see where people will make it phony. And then they're saying things and you're like, that doesn't come from the heart. And that's the other space is when we get very heart-centered, and ask ourselves truthfully, is this what I want to do? Or truthfully, is this where I want to be? You can start to actually unlock the barriers that you've placed in your life. And then you can start to move out of this limited, so to limitless space. And as I said, it is such this time of rebirthing ideas. And when you move from limited out, that's where the rebirth takes. And if you if you understand that, which we're going to get back into the into the after the break, we're going to talk more about rebirthing and creating in the limitless space and understanding that there is never a barrier. There's a lot of people we do talk about blocks and what's the block that you're holding on to. But it's only ever what I've found with the thousands of people I've worked with that it's it's only our limited thinking and our limited environments. And this is what I want to really thank the hand God is starting to remove those roots and seeds out of each and every one of you listening. So you get to expand and it's all about expansion because the more we can expand our perceptions and the more we can open our observations, the more you will start to see very quickly things starting to change and the old stuff being washed away in your life. So just see how you feel, um, you know, when you really tune into the limited belief that you just brought up. How do you feel? How does that make you feel? Similar to how we were talking about Rob's testimonial from when he called in in our last show and the programs that he had to let go of. So how does that make you feel now? You should feel lighter. So you know what? I can't wait until we start to hear your testimonials. Check us out at tracyalclark.com for more information on us and how we help you shift. And we come back after the break. We're going to talk about rebirthing and washing away those old limits that you've placed upon yourself. into the wisdom of animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso on Animal Soul Wisdom Radio. Tune in monthly as Darcy brings insights on how to better understand and deepen our relationships with animals. Working with light and pureness of ancient techniques, Darcy, healer, animal communicator, and medium is here to guide you through this process and provide inspiration to move forward. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. Have you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on Earth for herself and others. 
To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. Are you your story? Or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge, and I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. High frequency healing for an amazing life with Source Light Radio. Join host Laura Barton each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she explores Source Light integration, a unique spectrum of energy, light, and frequency. Experience instantaneous healing and amazing shifts in consciousness with Source Light Integrations Radio. For more information on Laura and her work, visit SourceLightIntegrations.com. Welcome back to the Tracy L. Clark Show. I'm your host, Tracy L. And if you're loving this episode, I always encourage you to share it on your social media. And you know what? You can screenshot it. Let others know we're here. Check out our links on our website at tracylclark.com. Get the conversation rolling. And we always encourage your feedback. And if you want to call in and talk to us, you can at 1-800-930-2819. Before we left the break, we were talking about when we start to look at our limited beliefs, rebirthing new ideas and understanding the next step. And one of the things I like to do when I go away and I'm in the ocean is I start to see, you know, as the waves, they start to clear us and they wash us off. And, you know, when I, I find that every week I give our community a new tip, something else they can work on. And I was talking to them this week about washing away the old and really getting into, you can get into that visualization. Sometimes you can take even salt, not the grainy salt, but a nice salt. And just even in the showers, you're washing the body off and you're, it'll actually remove some of the old energies and other people's energies that you've picked up. And so when you're working on self and you're looking at removing your limited space Quite often what happens is it will bring emotions, no different than what Rob was saying, that he had a very challenging week, but it's getting so much lighter and better because the emotions of everything you you knew. And, you know, it's almost like you realize that when you're looking at your limited beliefs that you've kind of been lied to. So it's, it can be coming to the body that traumatic because you're like, well, I was told this my whole life. And then you start to realize you're really in charge. You're in charge and you get everything that you can't see is really waiting there. And when you strengthen the system to really on the mental and physical level and an energetic level to understand that you are the creator, you are in charge. So everywhere you have found yourself in limitations, we have to start to remove those seeds So you don't beat yourself up and say, you know, I wish I had started to realize I was in charge of my life sooner or earlier or that there was different decisions because your timing of waking up and understanding to remove the limiting self-talk and systems that you have, you know, it's it's different for each and every one of us. Some children sometimes are very, very aware. And I remember this great story of a dear friend of mine who was saying that when he was small, you know, he used to see angels and he would talk about this. And then his parents were very, very, very strict in their religious belief at that time. They've changed so much now and said, no, that's not, that's not real. That's not real. That's not true. And he's very prophetic and no, that's not true. That's not true. So he shut everything down that he was feeling and believing 
as a child. And he said it wasn't until, you know, many, many years later when he was in his 20s that he started to realize that that was the, his parents' fear of what they didn't know or didn't understand that started to limit him in what he could see and feel and hear in different realms. So quite often we limit ourselves because we feel different from where other people are and what other people are doing. And so we will hold ourselves back so we can fit in their circles. And when we start to realize that and that is, the, if you're in our show next week, it's it's called going from the majority to the minority. And I encourage you to be with us next week because this is our next lead that we start to understand when we let go of the limitations, then we can move to the next level. And this is what I like to do each week is to build this up for you so you get a foundation, a new foundation. And, you know, so going back to his story, it it's so beautiful because he started to realize that He was totally limiting himself based on his parents' points of view, based on the strict religious background they had. And he realized it didn't work for them. And, you know, the story that's so beautiful is they actually came over to his way of being and over the years really changed and transitioned. And I have to tell you from the bottom of my heart that they're the most loving, amazing, pure, authentic family I've ever met. And it's so beautiful because you start to see how their connection changed, their belief system changed, and they started to walk from being very limited, very strict, very rigid. So when life starts to feel very rigid, very restrictive, very much like you can't move, you know you're in a limited environment that you've created. And by that's what has to start to move. That's why your perception and being in the strength of saying, this is not feeling so good. That's why I love all the emotions. People, a lot of times, they say, oh, you should be happy all the time. That's not true. That means you're burning emotions. But, you know, your anger, your frustration, you don't want to be there every day. That's not healthy. But you know, when you start to use them, it's your body talking to you. And you can start to see no matter, you know, if you're looking at your family or your boss, or you're looking at your children, by you taking the lead and you starting, I'm going to think I have got of unlocking all the creation energy where you've really, again, planted more roots and seeds around limiting yourself, even within your family units for them to go or in your jobs for that to go in your finances for that to start to dissipate and release and dissolve and let go out of your field. You get to have this creation energy like my friend and how he transformed his family. So they weren't having as much fun back then. They weren't having as much play. He's like, everything has to be so serious because that's what they were taught. And as he moved through that, he started to see again. He started to hear again. He started to feel again. And his connection, his faith, really anchored in, which was transformational. And that's what it's about, is getting you into a transformational state all the time. And that's why I love it. Like, I didn't start calling myself the transformational specialist. Other people did. Our TLC community of extraordinary living didn't come from me. It came from our members. We were just the community of extraordinary living. And the TLC which is my name, um, you know, they're like, this is a TLC community because we have so much care and so much love and so much support every day. And that's where we started to transform people's lives from limited to limitless because they see the breakthroughs. No different than I'm saying with this family, but they see it from their mothers. They're seeing it from their fathers by them taking the lead and not being afraid anymore. And saying, as long as I'm happy, as long as I'm at peace, I can move. And that's rebirthing. This is rebirthing your life. And every minute of every second, you get to rebirth a new you, a new thought process. People that know me always laugh when I go away on holiday because when I come back, they're like, who are you? Like the creativity is flowing and everything that we did yesterday is over, drives all my my helpers and people crazy because now they're like, oh my gosh, we have to learn all this new stuff. But they have fun with it. We have fun with it because we're always rebirthing something new. We're bringing in new thought forms, new energy patterns. And this is what I want to really build your foundations with today 
as you're listening, just see your foundation start to change. Under your feet is where your foundation is. If it's looking a little cracked, you know those are your limited thought processes, your limited way of being. Like, Even you can break your routine up, like don't get out of the right side of the bed, get out of the left. That alone will start to shake the mental space a little bit where your awareness will change and you'll be like, hmm, I'm just, I'm feeling a little more free. One of, one of the, those pictures I love are where those people's arms are wide open. You know, it's just their chest is open, their arms are back because they're freeing themselves. That's that imagery is saying we're freeing ourselves from all this limited space and this limited thought process. And so we want to continue to do that. And I've seen it where when people, many, many, many testimonies where people do do this, your family and friends will naturally come along. But the amount of freedom when you rebirth a new you, and a lot of times when I say that, people are like, well, no, 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 you know, you're just born and you just go on and that's it. And I'm like, no, if you look at rebirthing and creating a new you each and every day and each and every second, and you're like, what am I creating today and go forward? And if you start to ask yourself that, what am I creating today? What am I rebirthing today? You'll start to see more more signs. You'll see more wonders. You'll see more synchronicities. You will get them over and over and you'll get more peace. And that peace that comes in, you're going to really have that. I would say the little, you know, saying is that nothing can hold me back. Nothing will hold me back. And I'm like, thank you. God, Nothing's going to hold me back. And you'll start to find, too, that the people in your environment are supportive and they're saying, yes, go for that. And let's keep uplifting each other and we can start to pull this in. So everywhere you're ready to rebirth a new you, you just have to say, I'm ready to rebirth a new me. I'm stepping up. I'm a priority. I'm ready. And what we can do is as we change the foundation and let go of more of this limiting pattern in your, you know, through your family, your genetic coding, your imprinting. You know, I love to clear the religious belief channels because they're so old. It can change for everybody. Um, So all your experiences. So you can actually really connect fully what that means for you. And there's no right or wrong what means for you. So that is why I'm so excited when I talk about going from, you know, the majority of the minority, because it triggers a lot of people when I say that, but that's a limiting belief that when you start to lift this off, you really start to create, you're going to have more deja vus too, which is great, which means you're right exactly where you're supposed to be. You'll see them come quicker. So what are you really ready to rebirth? What are you ready to rebirth? What are you bringing in now? And what are you ready to step out into the world and say, this is the new me? I'm ready to be shown the new me. And all those accumulations of limitless means that you are ready to jump off the cliff, to go into that cold water, put your head under where you used to get those headaches, you know, because it's so cold, and come up refreshed and allowing, like I said, to see the water washing away what is old, what is no longer there for you, and allowing you to recenter and rebuild and repair, restore, and regenerate every part of who you are inside and out. And that's important because the frequencies, your energy inside, as we're talking, we're moving this, shifting you inside and transforming then the outside. And that's where the transformation really starts to happen. So if you're really wanting to have more transformation, again, we have a global online call. We do them once a month. Our next one is August 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You get a replay if you can't make it. I encourage you to sign up and, you know, where we are shifting more around rebirthing and preparing you to rebirth and get this life really to the next level because we're always ready for the next level. So we'll see you right after the break. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. 
at 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at tracylclark.com. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. What is holding you back from living the life you are meant to live? Why is it vital to believe in something bigger than yourself? Are you in physical or emotional pain? Tune in monthly to Vibrant Purposeful Living. Awaken the vibrant life within you with Lou Paradise and Dr. Pat on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Lou's passion is to help everyone experience positive solutions for life. Find out more about Lou with Vibrant Purposeful Living at LouParadise.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Calling all moms, it's time to awaken your vibrant, intuitive, loving self in every area of your life. Join host Debbie Pokornik as she shares thoughts, stories, and tools to help you stand in your power. Listen to Vibrant Powerful Moms Helping Everyday Women Create Extraordinary Lives, Mondays at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. For more information about Debbie, visit empoweringenergy.com. That's empowering with letters N-R-G.com. Welcome back to the Tracy L. Clark Show. I'm your host, Tracy L., and I hope you're enjoying us today, understanding, rebirthing, and really starting to remove limitations, but very quick. You know, it doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out process. So if you're loving our show and enjoying the shifts, I encourage you to check us out at tracylclark.com. So when we really start as we get to the final space here of understanding, go one more space. What is it that's really been holding you back? And what is the underlining fear? What is the underlining fear? And I do remind people to actually ask themselves that if they find a lot of times what will happen is you may find yourself, say, wanting to branch out into new friends and or to go to an event that can be an event. And you're like, oh, that doesn't feel right to me. And a lot of people do this and they actually are a detriment to themselves. You know, I, I got a bad feeling, so I didn't want to go to that event. And it's not actually that event would have been very good for them. I've seen this with many clients where had they gone to the event, it would have opened new doors for new jobs, new possibilities, even meeting relationships. And they don't go and they try to move it as, well, I didn't feel God. And this is where understanding when you're using your intuition versus where a limited belief will come up in your system and where the block is. And so they're like, oh, I didn't go. And then they realize they've missed these opportunities. So what that is, it's not their intuition, their fear is what's holding them back. And we've all been there and it's that fear. So then we say, well, no, intuitively it didn't feel right. And then it, it was a new door. It was something else that would have opened. And so you were having the nudge. And when we get the nudge to break out of something that has been limiting us, you will be afraid. You will be afraid because you, you don't know 
exactly what's on the other side. And that's, that is scary because it's new territory, but I want to actually just ask your systems right now to reverse that perception. So as we realign that your bodies don't take it as a fear, say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to open to whatever is possible there for me. I'm going to open to whatever is for me and just have a good time. And then when you're done, you can actually reevaluate it at that time. You will know if you walk into something and then you're like, um, I'm not sure. But I have seen this where people have told me when they, they go to a new event, they're still, they'll walk in and they're like, I'm not sure. And they still feel afraid. And they're like wanting to run out the door. But then they force themselves to stay for like half an hour. And they're like, oh my God, I'm so glad I stayed. I became calm, fun. And then they're like, oh, this person told me to connect this person so I could get a new job. And now I've connected with this person. And people say, wow, I met the love of my life. And so you can see if we don't pay attention to ourselves, we miss the opportunities that are right in front of us. And we don't want any of you to be caught in that trap of saying, well, I, you know, my feeling was off. So that was my intuition. And that's another, that's a whole other episode of understanding really hone on what's your intuition, what's your fear. So you can see that anything that we start to limit ourselves in to go to limitless is always blocked, usually by a trauma or a fear, which creates resistance. And when we have resistance, then we start to talk ourselves out of things. So I want to just start to reset your systems today. So you're not talking yourself out of things that can actually be good for you, new experiences, you know, these new joys and to align more of that to come in. So you can actually start to reprogram. So it's a journey and it's this beautiful space, but I will tell you as you walk more and more in it, you're going to start to understand that the limitless world is amazing because you're like, I can do that. Look what happened. And I can achieve this. And it's just that it's a hurdle. So if you ever did hurdles in high school in the track and field, you can look at it. You're just getting over that hurdle. And then there's a space where you can start to run again. Then there's another hurdle and then you can run again. And those spaces in between the hurdles are all the spaces of creation. And that again is bringing back this rebirth of you. So quite often we forget every morning and there's a great little exercise when you get out of bed in the morning. Some people, the first thing you want to do is ground into the earth. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, but put your feet on the floor and say, you know, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. What am I creating today? What are we creating today? What are we bringing in today that's different than what I saw yesterday? And by asking and doing that little exercise every morning, thank you. What are we creating? today, you're going to start to see and observe a lot of new things start to unfold in your life. And you're going to start to see those transformations and breakthroughs in what you've been asking for. And the ceilings that you've limited yourself with, so on the top of your head, that's what it looks like if you, you know, stand on a ladder and hit your head against your ceiling. That's what it's called a ceiling. And it's usually an energetic ceiling. It's hard for people to see. But again, it comes when people can't make more money. For instance, they put ceilings on themselves and then they're always wondering why they can only make 50 or 100,000 a year. And they've been trying and trying for years to break through that ceiling. So what happens is when you're asking what we're going to create today, you know, and start looking for the joy of what that is, the limitations that you put on yourself will actually start to naturally also dissipate where you'll catch yourself going, my ceiling's gone and I would never have thought I would have done that. But you'll be walking in it. You'll just, your life will start to just naturally move. You don't have to be like, okay, what do I have to do today? Because You could do a million exercises a day and you never get out of your house. So I say, if you want to do something that's very quick and then during your day, you'll notice and observe what your body is telling you so you can actually break through those ceilings, break through those limitations, break through and you see you break through. So you can just start to picture, okay, what ceiling do I have in my head? And I'm ready to break through it. And that alone starts to move the energy through the body. So your body can actually be very strong to breaking through. So we want to move you again, rebirth, removing all the accumulations of where you've limited yourself, allowing you to be in alignment of the timing that something's going to unfold and allowing you to be in the alignment 
of understanding that when you break through your limitations, what is coming next probably won't look the way you think. It's not going to look the way you think. Even the way I learned all the new things I've learned lately that I had been giving to other people, it didn't come the way I thought at all. But I stay open. So every limitation, they're like chains can be broken. Every limitation of bonds that have been created can be broken and barriers can be broken. And this is what we're asking your bodies today to be in alignment for on all levels and all layers from top of your head to the soles of your feet, that they start to come off in a pattern and in a manner that feels safe, feels secure for each and every one of you, and just feels like it's flowing and there's more ease as you're moving from one direction to the next. So I'm just going to actually ask to bring that in and bring that all the way down <laughs> from the top of your head to the soles of your feet because you've got to start to move your physical, mental, energetic bodies all together. It can't be just in the brain. We get too much in our head and we're then, if you're overthinking, over worrying, over analyzing, we're going to ask for a lot of that to lift off your body so you can get out of your way and remove the limitations. Even the simple exercise of stepping to the right, you can remove those limitations. You can get out of your way and say, I'm getting into my way because I'm going after what's limitless and every limitation goes. So I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us for this hour of change and transformation. And I trust you're going to join us next week where we're going to actually give you some more tips. We're going to share about why you want to be the minority in your world and your surroundings, not the majority. And if you truly have a desire to constant shifting support community, I want to personally just take this time to invite you to check out our daily partnership program where I work with everyone in there each and every day live and where our community in the private Facebook groups, we have support shifting, encouraging to make sure that we help you each and every step of the way. So you can truly step into your authentic self and learn how to let go of fear and what your body's telling you. Because when we go together, we grow together. We'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to the Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., where I teach you how to live your extraordinary life. Tune in every Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, on Transformation Talk Radio, where I combine ministry, science, and spirituality, revealing the steps you need to transcend perceived limitations. As a remarkable leader and pioneer in my field, I, Tracy L, will provide insights energetically and the tools required to move you forward. For more information on my partnership program, check us out at tracylclark.com.